All right, all right. Drive shaft. She got the carrier brick. Ooh, all dirty. Drive shaft complete. Back to tarpon. We're actually strapped. And uh, that's what actually moves up and down and pushes on the spring. Um, those head bolts are probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to get out. And a JD hook. Oh, that was nice of you. 19765. Fleet guard. So that is a wrap. What do you think? You good? Every state is probably going to be different. Let's get to work. Good, beautiful morning. The Hellcat finally fully charged, so I actually took it to the pizza place last night. And then we caught fireflies. Oh yeah, check this out. He's right here, he just flew away. He's right here. I'm holding the other ones get out. You get one? How many you got? Four. Oh. <laughs> and there are holes in the top of that jar, guys. I grew up in California, so we really didn't do that kind of stuff out there, but <laughs> it was fun. Pretty cool. Uh, and even Cash caught one who's scared of bugs like crazy. So, parked in the neighbor's yard because they're going for the uh, lake for the weekend. So, get old red in here, red wheels, and get over to the truck. Okay, big girl, back at you. Let's get her pre tripped and fired up. Part of our pre trip this morning, we're going to check on this good old 60 amp circuit breaker we put in right here uh, just to see if anything's corroded anything's looking bad but I don't know if it's all the water I go through from the spray washes at the plant but it's still working great so there you go turns on turns off breaks itself there you go okay keep an eye on it but it's kind of hard because you got to take off all these bolts to get this apart so <laughs> we just want to check on it it's working good all systems go. There you go. We're back on the 385, heading toward the 26. We'll stop at our typical QT on the way up. And probably exit 125 on the way back. Uh oh, all those trailers, atomic transport. Oh goodness, let him get him in front of you pretty far because that thing's going to smell. Recycle is on. Oh man, I might have to pass this guy because I just got on the highway. This thing, it's a bunch of uh, old proteins, I guess, and waste. I'm gonna have to pass him. Uh, he's still walking on the highway here. Hope he's okay. Or she, I don't know. Just walking. Yeah. Alright, let's pass Atomic, get going, get some fuel. And yeah, in, in that pre trip, the 60 amp breaker's doing great. Uh, the fuse, if, you, if you've been catching a few videos back, uh, we had the fuse kind of melt, uh, connection inside of the bottom, inside that rubber casing where you can't even see was, was melting and the, the terminal for the fuse was getting all, uh, not contacting. So when, it, when electrical contacts, you want them tight, you want them as tight as you can get them. If they're loose, they will burn up. You can't really smell nothing yet, but sometimes you'll be behind one of these trucks, you don't realize it, and you'll start smelling, uh, dead carcass kind of stuff. <laughs> so. Let's get right past him. Ugh. All right, beautiful morning. 83 degrees so far at about 9 a.m. Got a couple sheds over there going to some new homes. And the sign is still on the ground right there. Oh, gosh. Save signs. Save sign lives. That's the new motto. Got the carnival ride on the back of that one. It's like a carnival ride and a UPS trailer. All right, Camaro with the IROC wheels, or kind of like the IROC wheels. I like it. Just the five spokes. It's a V6, though. We need that V8 power. We need that LS-based motor. All right, what do we got? This guy 
guy's coming out the wrong way, which is all good. Oh, he's just turned around. Never mind. Old K5 Blazer hanging out with the American flag uh, steering wheel cover. I like it. Got a orange and cream Peterbilt. Uh oh, he's backing up. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me hit you real quick. Sorry, man. Get on through before you back up, buddy. Thought you were going all the way around. That's not cool to cut someone off, but I didn't think he was. Uh, I think he was backing into a spot. My bad. My bad. All right, we're changing the trash. But he saw me. I'd have to honk at him. And let's get in here. Okay. There we go. Let's get fueled up and ourselves fueled up. It's been pretty smooth sailing. Um, we're just now entering the construction zone. We just went past the uh, way station, the small one. It was closed, nobody was there. And we were just passed by a DPS officer pulling a DPS motorcycle. <laughs> it's kind of cool, a little charger. Um, it looks a little weathering up here. So I'm praying that the, the silo is not raining too bad because if it's pouring, you have to kind of pop your hatch and then open it once you get underneath the um, overhang. So we'll see, but it does look a little, a little menacing cloudy over here, but it's nice and cool, it's 81 degrees. My AC is a little bit too cold, so I got to turn it down a little bit. Um, and I'm starting to think my, I don't know if you guys have been following the channel, my um, belts were squeaking. I thought it was my AC compressor. I think it's just something that got on the belts. I also think it's when I wash the truck, and there's a bunch of water that shoots in to that grill. So I'm starting to start the washer and then kind of get past the front of the truck so it's not shooting water into that, uh, that radiator and into the belts. So I don't know. It seems like the belts might need to be replaced, so I'm probably just order some more of those and uh, call it a day. So I think it's just the belt. It's not actually the AC compressor, which is a blessing. It's a lot less work than the AC compressor. But hey, yeah, we'll check out this weather, check out these clouds, and see what we've got going on. Another sign, guys. Another sign takes the plunge. My goodness. Save the signs. Signs, lives matter. We say it's closed. At least that sign hasn't been taken down yet. Um, <laughs> and it's now 85 degrees, so it is getting warmer. You got one guy over there getting his tire changed. There is somebody, there, a couple people there, but there's not having it open. But the westbound side is probably open. We'll see in a second. Oh yeah, westbound is rocking and rolling. Looks like they're just green lighting everybody, but uh, they're definitely there. Get back to it. It's not even noon yet, so they might be going to lunch soon. Who knows? The clouds never dumped any rain or just kind of hanging around. So I don't know if they're going to burn off or we're going to get some more rain later on, but it's definitely kind of messing up some of the concrete pours that keeps us busy. Okay, we got something going on with the train right here, I think. I don't know. truck in front of us at the hatch open and we're at number 11 let's see if there's anybody in there checking out that 1981 tv oh yeah here we go oh yeah there's one in front of us but it looks like he just hit the brake lights so he might be pulling forward oh yeah he's pulling forward sweet take it we'll take the win take my glasses off so i can see the tv on the scale nice and slowly. There we go, here we go. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a big spout right up there that you see above us. That's gonna drop right in the center of this trailer. We only open the center hatch. Uh, that's where they load from. It distributes out, kind of trickles down to both sides. And um, there's a TV right here on the left you can see that is actually right now decently easy to see. Maybe they cleaned it. But typically, you have a hard time seeing that TV. <laughs> Looks like they did clean it or dust it off or something. So we're lined up now. Let's see if they drop the spout in. That's what we go by. And you can back up or go forward just to get it to drop in there. So now I'm trying 
trying to get my hood through the super jets <laughs> before they get super jetty. And then I'll kind of just let it stream off the hood so it's not getting anything in the engine compartment on the belts. Let it hit the window. And then roll down the sleeper. <clears throat> I also wonder if this was part of the problem with my uh, 60 amp breaker that I put in where my 60 amp fuse used to be. Because uh, I never had problems with that, but it didn't look corroded from water. I don't think that was it, but that uh, fuse was definitely just a bad connection inside of itself. So glad we checked that out today. It's been, what, a week, week and a half since we did that. So. Just want to check on that, make sure the connection's holding good, make sure there's no burn marks, no corrosion, stuff like that. All right, we'll let it sit there. I'll let it sit like halfway down the trailer a little bit, get all that stuff off the top where the uh, lid closes, and then come on the back and get it off tires. All right, she's clean. But yeah, I don't know if that was part of my uh, belt problem was getting all that water on those warm belts. And uh, not a lot of water, but just, just enough will make them stretch or contract and uh, lose their grip so my part of the squealing problem i don't know we're loaded let's get back towards the house and we are loaded up and i don't know what we got going on here uh oh there's the uh, they pick up like big pieces of tire and stuff left on the highway so that's kind of cool that they do that out here in south carolina keep it clean then they come out and do trash pickup, I, I want to say like once a month. But we are 46,000 pounds of product in the back and rolling down 26 again. Smooth sailing, 90 degrees now, but the clouds look non-menacing. We look like we have no rain, so it looks like a pretty routine day. I did get a notification that our uh, oil pan gasket came in, so we might do that tonight. I don't know. It depends on what we got going on with the boys. I'll at least go home, check on them, and then I might go back to the shop and pull that pan and uh, place that gasket. We'll see, though. Stopping at our favorite exit, uh, on the way back at least, 25, 125. The pumps are closed. There's two of them at least, so we'll park right in front of the first one. Uh, get a little refresh. She's running good. Thank you, boy. Okay, we are refreshed and now I'm gonna back it up. Terry, did you guys see that little clip of somebody throwing a, I don't know if it was a joke or they thought they were just gonna like, throw it under his car. But check this out right oh, here on the top of the left. Oh my God. Oh my God. That is crazy. That guy's probably got a hearing loss problem now or something, but man, that was uh, it's not the way you shoot fireworks right there. <laughs> I don't know if he was trying to throw in the car or what, but man, okay, well, we got some safety courses on fireworks around here. We're going to get back on 26, play it safe, and get home. Well, we got through Columbia pretty well, uh, but not so much through the construction, so I don't know if we had something come on up here, or if they're just kind of pulling machinery on, on or off the highway, but we shall see soon enough. Didn't come to a complete stop, but rolling pretty slow. Well, we started moving again, but the cement trucks have not. <laughs> they are still there. Three to one. Three to one. All right. Let's keep rolling. Hope it just keeps going. Get back home. My goodness, I hope that's not a reality. It's a hot one today. And home sweet home. That gauge said 105 when I first looked at it. My goodness. And then look over here on the left. Um, Coyote is uh, kind of back up in the 2000 range for Orlando area. If that was 25, we would be thinking about it for sure. This fuel money getting down and back. Um, and then Uber Freight, there's a series of screenshots over here. You'll see they're pushing it about 300 yesterday. So I just been bidding on it. So I'll do it for 450. Be like the lowest I do that for. And that is a Friday pickup, Saturday morning drop. But if we're going to the Lake, it's um, I could leave the truck at my lot and uh, drop that off. So it might make sense to do that and pay for some fuel money we use this week. But we'll see if that fruition's. But those are a couple loads that are they're moving up because they came all the way to 384. So 
and it came up $84, but still that's not even, that's maybe fuel money, so we'll see. So if you freight makes that worthwhile for uh, holding the truck for a day, and if the freight industry is getting a little bit more of making sense these days, but I don't know, we'll see. It's after the holiday, lock this thing up, and we probably will come back later. Uh, we did put the truck in the shop, the FLD, the day cab, if you're new to my channel, I have this truck, which is my baby, <clears throat> my OTR truck, but I've been using it for cement, so we bought a FLD uh, 99 with a Detroit 12.7 that we were gonna use for cement, so for IRP in both those trucks, and now we're gonna um, have, insure them and run them. So that one will run cement, and this one will run whenever the spot market comes back, so we'll see about that. But for now, we have the AC fixed on that FLD, but we need have a oil leak now because we replaced the turbo on it and the charge air cooler. So now that we're getting some crank pressure inside the crankcase because the turbo pushed a lot of boost into the uh, <clears throat> cylinders. So it pushes some, some pressure into the uh, actual block, especially if you have a little blow by, which I'm assuming it does. So with that, you get pressure inside the engine and that is pushing oil out now. So who knows if they rebuilt it at some point and they used the same gasket, they didn't buy a new one. So we have a new one at home. I got a notification saying it was delivered. So we'll go pick that up. We'll lay it out so it's kind of in a rectangle because it's going to be all wound up and you want it to be laid out um, so that it'll be easier to get it on the actual pan. But you got to clean that surface real good. So we'll do that tonight if we go back there. First, we'll get some full time with the boys because it is hot, as you saw, 105. Jeez. Speaking of hot, that is a green APU right there. If you don't know about them, check them out. GreenAPU.com. If I was in Florida right now and it was even hotter than this, that would be keeping me cool, charging my batteries and running its own separate AC to keep me cool in that 86 inch sleeper right there. So check them out, they're an awesome company, greenapu.com, live and die by them. And you definitely need one of those to save you on fuel and save your batteries <clears throat> and keep you cool and keep you warm in the winter, which I wish it was right now. But I do enjoy the summer. Done rambling, let's get home. Before I get out of here though, I was hearing some weird noises like doom doom from inside my dry van, which I haven't seen in here forever. Um, but I think it's just the heat uh, expanding it or contracting it. It's kind of crazy. I heard it go doo doo. I was going to check if someone living in my dry van. Not a bad. Do you hear that? It's like the. It's not doing it now, but it'll go doom doom. And I heard it right before I got on Red Wheels. So I guess it's just the heat contracting off it because the truck's not even touching it. I don't know. But yeah, it was nice to look in the dry van for a second. And we are back home. Looks like T-Dubs is cleaning a rug. I don't know. That was in Kaysen's room, though. Yeah, Green APU. Go check them out, please. Green APU power unit. Oh, yeah. Let's take these boys to the pool, and I'll get back to that FLD. You coming in with me? It's hot out here, dude. It's hot. Come on. Oh, look behind you. No. Oh, what's up? Whoa, -ho. hello. I like you guys. No, no louder. I like your haircuts, dude. You guys got faded up. Little mohawks. I'm serious. I I Yeah. I gave you Oh, thank you. Got these for Uncle Robbie's house. Oh, yeah. Huh. I was playing football. <laughs> it smells good here. It smells like bleach. I need these. Okay, so bag number one. Pull down, pull down. Uh, pull, pull, pull. All right, what is it? Ooh, it's a gasket. It's for the big truck. It's for the big truck. Oh, yeah. And then box number two. Cash, what's in that? Hmm. Pull right here. What is it? What is it? Open it. It is an HDMI splitter for nice. your computer, so I can start doing your recordings. Remember how you want your live streams? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, and then also we got boat stickers, and T-Dubs bought me a cool shirt that says "Rooted." Oh yeah, I like it, love it, thank you. Yeah, you can kind of see through the thing. Boat stickers! Because ours yeah, expires this month. Let's get that done, what are you making? Lasagna. What is that? It's <laughs> Lasagna. 
Is it cheese? Yeah. Mm, I love lasagna. All right, we'll wrap this video at the pool and then I'll start my next video when we get to the shop. I'm gonna lay this out first though. Okay, guys, so like I said, they, yeah, baby. I will, what is that car? Let me see the top of it. Where'd you get that? Whose is it? Cassius? No, it's for my birthday. It's your birthday? Okay, we're trying to find a remote. I'm gonna put it in the sun, guys, but like I said, people said the gray one was better than the black one. Uh, I don't know why, but we'll hang it from this light right here that should be turned off uh, and let the sun kind of just pull it out. It's just a big oval, so. No, that's for the um, oil pan of the new big truck that I have, the smaller one, because it's leaking pretty badly. The one that doesn't have the seat. The one that only has one seat, yep. All right, now we're at the pool. Let's go to the pool. Before we go to the pool, though, we got that thing stretching out outside, and then this HDMI. I only bought one of them because I wasn't sure if it was going to work. What was happening, I was turning the computer on, and the screen wouldn't register, and then the uh, A10, which is like my switch back and forth, wasn't registering. So now if I go to camera three, I got the camera. Camera one, I got the that getting input as well as the TV. So that's what I wanted because we're gonna have another cut camera angle from back here with them all playing. Yeah, that's computer stuff. I'm trying to give them a head start in their channel to play games like this, which they are playing downstairs right now. So, all right, on that note, let's get to the pool. Yeah, bless you guys. God bless you guys.